hello guys this is Adris here and in this quick video I'm going to explain how you can use closures and bind method to do function cutting in JavaScript and by the way I have separate videos on closure and bind uh, just in case if you like to watch I will provide the link somewhere in the video alright so first I wanna show you with the closure uh, how you can do function cutting so I'm um, to do this I'm gonna go and create a function I will name it feeling and this will receive an argument X and in this function we are going to return another uh, anonymous function which would have an argument Y and in this anonymous function we are going to do a console log and in here I will pass a string which would be I and then X space Y Okay, and now I'm gonna go under here and create a variable love and then we will execute feeling and we will pass just uh, a string love okay so what is happening here basically uh, this feeling is going to return this anonymous function which has X and Y both okay and for now we are passing X only uh, even though X is not inside in this anonymous function it still has access uh, uh, to X uh, from feeling which is main function through closure okay so again if you are interested watching uh, in detail I have a separate video okay on closure so once we do this and then we can do love and we can pro probably do I don't know food and if I just save this it's gonna print out I love food okay so same way we can create more actually so say if you have hate and then we do feeling and here we do hate and now we can do hate and then we can pass uh, getting fat All right so now here we are basically because we have the first string love and then in the second one we have hate so it says I love and I hate and then same uh, here we are passing food I love food I hate getting fat okay so uh, this may not be the best example so I, but I was just trying to explain how it works okay so let me just actually give you another example so maybe more sensible so I'll change this from feeling to maybe divide uh, divide by maybe okay and then we instead of returning a function uh, sorry instead of this console logging this uh, I'm gonna go and do y divide bit by x okay so now we can go and create uh, divide by maybe 2 and then here we can do divide by and pass 2 here and and same way if we do I'll just copy paste down and change this to to maybe uh, 5 okay and then here we will pass 5 so now we have divide by 2 and divide by 5 alright so if I do divide by 2 sorry divide by 2 and then here if we pass maybe 22 and and do another one divide by uh, divide by 5 and maybe pass 55 so the first one is gonna give us uh, 11 and the second one is also giving us 11 because we are dividing by 5 uh, let's change this to maybe 60 just to avoid any confusion so there we go so the first one is dividing 22 with 2 because we are setting it to 2 the first argument okay and the second one is dividing 60 with 5 because we are here we are the first argument is 5 and the second argument is 60 okay so you can keep going okay, basically you can use this uh, function and keep creating more and more functions okay so, so this is how uh, this is called function cutting uh, with closure okay so now I'm gonna give you an example with bind so I'll, I'll use the same uh, function by the way so I'm gonna get rid of this return function and instead uh, here I'm going to pass y as an argument 
and we're gonna do a console log and we're going to do the same thing we did before so x divided by y so here instead of invoking this bind by we're gonna do a bind method on it and then we will bind it to this okay and as to make it uh, by two we have to pass an argument the first argument I want to pass is two okay and the same uh, here I will do bind and I will do this bind this to this and here I will pass five and by the way if you have confusion about this uh, in my video where I'm explaining uh, bind I'm also explaining this so if you watch that video uh, that would be a, uh, this would be a lot clearer okay so how this works okay so all right so now we are doing it this with bind okay so i hope this is gonna give us the same result okay since so we are getting the same result so let's just uh, maybe do another uh, maybe 40 and here we will do maybe 70 all right and we're gonna get the results okay so this is how you do this with bind okay before we did with the ex closure and now we are doing with the bind so you can keep going uh, you can create more and more uh, uh, functions here and pass the different arguments okay so this is pretty much uh, function currying is uh, the basics of con function currying of course you can do a lot better uh, you can do especially mathematics a lot of mathematics is this uh yeah but i i hope you have learned something from this video guys and yeah uh, thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe uh, if you like this out of the video uh, especially for javascript okay i'll see you next time thank you so much have a great day